Lots of meeting industry shows this month and lots of follow up um, flying between meeting partners and meeting planners. So how do you make your follow up email more effective in reaching your target audience of the meeting planner? Let's talk about that. It's Leanne from LeanneColderwood.com and January has a bevy of event industry uh, events that we can all attend from Go West last week in Edmonton to PCMA convening leaders earlier this month. And this week, a lot of meeting partners are at Tete -a -tete in Ottawa. So after all those events, meeting partners, you likely want to send the meeting planners that you've met a follow up email on the dialogues that you had at these shows. But meeting planners have been out of the office for <laughs> a month and they're getting an onslaught of follow-up emails. So we got to find ways of making our emails stand out to the planner. So A, they actually read them and B, they actually respond. So here are my tips for you. First, I would almost recommend delaying your email just a little bit to give that planner some time and some space to answer all the emails that they've missed earlier this month being away for so long. Second, when you're writing your email, ensure that you include context, which includes where you met that planner be it the Go West show or the PCMA show, ensure you include that context because they've probably met a bevy of people over the last month. Third, this is still a relationship building tool and not considered a sales tool. So while you want to give them sales information, it's still a great way to nurture the relationship that you've started with this meeting planner. So some great ways to do that because you were at the same industry event is to tell them, you know, what your favorite session was. My favorite session at PCMA was about event marketing and my biggest takeaway from the conference was learning how to incorporate trends in my clients meetings something like that something that they can even respond to as far as what their favorite session was or what their biggest takeaway was so now that you've tried to build or gap and, and create more of a dialogue with the planner, then it's time to go into some of the salesy things that you want to communicate to your planner to promote your product or organization. But again, keep in mind, they're getting a ton of these salesy emails. So be very careful in what you include in this introductory email. Finally, ensure that it has a call to action. Maybe you're going to schedule a call into February put a time and a date and, and ask for their permission to follow up with them at that time. That's my tip for today. Have a great week. More videos and inspiration on how to reach meeting planners can be found over at my blog at leannecalderwood.com. Bye for now.